In this video, you'll learn how you can easily add planes and poor polygons on your PCB. To begin, we'll open a PCB project that needs some polygons poured to finish up the design. Before we pour our polygons, we first need to define how they will connect to our pads. This can be defined in our design rules, so we'll select the Home tab, then Design Rules. In the PCB Rules and Constraints Editor, we'll expand the Plane category, select Polygon Connected Style, and then choose our Polygon Connect. In the Polygon Connect settings, we'll change the Connect Style to Relief Connect, which will help to avoid any thermal damage during the soldering process. With these settings in place, we'll select Apply to save our settings, then OK to continue. Next, we need to create an internal plane. To do this, select the Home tab, then select the Layer Stack Manager icon. On the Layer Stack Manager window, we'll select Add Layer and choose the Add Internal Plane option. The processor we're using uses several different voltages, so we're going to have to split up the plane we made earlier. To do this, we'll select our needed layer, then press Shift-S on our keyboard to enter single layer mode. As you can see, I've already split this plane into several sections. To create a new section, all we need to do is draw the outline of the section with the Line tool, which can be found under the Home tab. Once our outline is drawn, we'll double-click inside the drawn area and select the appropriate net. We're done splitting planes now, so let's exit single layer mode by pressing Shift S and return to our top layer. To finish up, all we have to do is pour our polygons. To do this, we'll select the Home tab, then select Polygon Pour. In the Polygon Pour window, we'll choose Solid for the Fill mode, and in the Net options, we'll select Ground for the net to connect to. We're all set to pour our polygons now. Let's press OK, and you'll notice that our cursor is now a crosshair. It's now our turn to define the area of the pour, so we'll click around the boundaries of our board. After defining the board area, we'll right-click or press Escape to complete the polygon pour process.